Hi everybody and welcome back to my uh, modeling channel. So uh, today I'm gonna build a, a Hawker Hunter uh, with a Swiss livery, who was uh, the retirement livery uh, of the aircraft. So the kilt uh, is from Ravel and it's a 172 scale. So let's open the box and uh, let's discover this together. So uh, first of all we have uh, a very nice uh, colored details uh, instruction sheet as you can see lots and lots of information but, uh, looks to be pretty straightforward uh, quite interesting and uh, there's lots of detail and, uh, we have an options of uh, two different uh, British or four different British liveries so uh, let's have a look now on the kit itself. So I'm gonna discover that uh, in the same time as you do. So you have a couple of screws. So here we have uh, the uh, basically fuel tank, external uh, fuel tanks. Now uh, on that sprue we have uh, the fuselage which is in two half uh, plus some details uh, on the, the uh, exhaust and the nose. Uh, the fuselage and all uh, everything is engraved uh, inside uh, the mold. Cockpit seems to be pretty detailed with uh, the standard cockpit plus uh, the instrument panel is here. Uh, the ejection seat is in a uh, few parts as well. I'm gonna add something else for that and uh, here we have uh, the weapon system I would say and the other part of uh, the other part of the uh, ejection seat now uh, let's go uh, after the last sprues the last sprue is basically the wings and we also have uh, an options to I guess open or close the flaps and uh, here are the slats for the aircraft and uh, you have uh, the cockpit, which is part of two clear parts. Now, for that uh, airplane, that particular model, I bought uh, some uh, extra extra accessories. So I have uh, a brass pito tube, uh, and I bought also um, more details ejection seat uh, for the model itself, and the ladder because I'm trying to do the might do the uh, open cockpit and an extra set of decals that extra set of decals is made by OH model and as you can see lots of letters it was called the Papyrus uh, aircraft and uh, that was the basically the delivery of a, a Swiss Air Force Hawker Hunter when he got retired so uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy that build with me and let's start building. So we'll start uh, the kit by uh, assembling uh, the cockpit. I will uh, glue the parts together, then I will have to uh, paint uh, the cockpit itself in, uh, in black and I will also paint the inside of the fuselage. Then I will follow up with uh, a dry wash to give some uh, all uh, the switch and uh, to give some uh, deepness to the cockpit and then of course I will add uh, all uh, the color switch uh, on the panels. After this I will have to uh, put uh, some weight on the nose of uh, the hunter as uh, the plane uh, requires some, uh, some less so otherwise the plane will sit on its tail. So uh, for this I use some molding paste and some uh, iron balls. Now start to uh, assemble the wings and uh, so those wings were made uh, in uh, four to five different parts 
So basically you had uh, the upper and the lower parts of the wings that uh, I'm gonna glue together. Then uh, after that I had uh, the flaps and uh, I also had uh, uh, slats on the front and also the wing salmon, which is the wing tip. time uh, to put the putty all over the models so uh, initially I'll have to do that uh, on the fuselage then on the wings and uh, after that I'll have to uh, start uh, the long uh, sanding process. I'm now assembling the fuel tank of the, of the aircraft but unfortunately on this model uh, they were not at the proper ship so I had to uh, use some more uh, putty on, uh, on the middle uh, part of uh, the fuel tank and then uh, to make it at the correct shape. After finishing uh, all uh, the sanding down uh, on the putty, I start to uh, rescribe uh, all the access panel. For this, I use initially uh, a, a razor uh, saw, and then uh, after that, I were uh, using uh, a rescribe tool. It's now time uh, to finish the cockpit. So. Uh, what I did, I uh, put some uh, black color all over uh, the sun visor and uh, after that it was time to uh, paint the ejection seat. So uh, the overall color is black, then uh, follow up with a, a dry wash and then uh, I use a, a mix of uh, yellow and brown uh, to uh, paint the ejection seat cushion and uh, yellow for the, the handle, the ejection uh, handle uh, covered with black as well.
face is now finished, it's time to uh, paint the model. So for this I use uh, a glossy white uh, for the plane. I had to find some uh, special fixation for uh, the jet air pipe exhaust as uh, the plane is uh, a full white uh, color. So uh, it was uh, a little bit of a challenge but after that uh, the paint went uh, pretty smoothly. Now time uh, to start the decaling process and uh, this uh, livery was uh, a quite long uh, process as uh, except uh, the main wings uh, every uh, every character was uh, was uh, word by word as you can see on the on the rest of, uh, of the review
give a more realistic uh, aspect, I added as well a, a ladder at the end of uh, the models. So uh, this was uh, in photo edge part, and uh, I assembled it, painted it in uh, a yellow color, and then uh, fixed it directly to uh, the aircraft. So this is the final result uh, of that uh, Papyrus uh, Hawker Hunter from the Swiss Air Force. I hope uh, you enjoyed that build with me. If you did so, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up and uh, I will see you soon in another build. Thank you for watching!